Yeah! Bugatti gang! Previously on Kimba TV. So that 27.6, 27.7 looks really interesting. Ah, Bugatti, Bugatti, Bugatti! TP for my what? Ladies and gentlemen, can we give it up for the math? Can we give it up for the math? 27614, if you really want to be technical. See, the reaction that I want is we bulldoze through it. If we get any sort of like bearish reaction off of that, it's probably time to close the long. Or do you just want to put it in front of your uh, stop loss or excuse me, your entry and it'd be break even? Hey! Bugatti, Bugatti, Bugatti! How we doing? Lions, how we doing? Are we juicing? <laughs> I just spit all over my screen. Oh, Lord, have mercy. I just washed it too. Just clean the screen. How we doing? Hey! Might not be my hands. All right, let's get started, y'all. How we doing? How we doing? Happy Tuesday. The juice don't stop. Expansion says, is Z still long? How? How y'all asking questions like that? No one's watching the YouTube videos or what? There should never be a, is he still? Because I, we talk about the plan, y'all. Why am I getting ads? We're Bugatti juicing right now, boy. Make sure you, if you don't know what the plan is, make sure you get caught up on this, okay? Because the more that you watch the stream and you don't watch the highlights, you're falling further and further behind. But, uh, come on, man. Come on, man. It's math. It's math. Bugatti! Uh, I might be in a new long, you know what I'm saying? I might be in a new long. You know what I'm saying, but you know what I'm saying. I TP for I think 4K on the other one, other one. Jiminy Christmas! Not only that, but I told you guys exactly what my plan was. I said single print is at 614. Holy shit! It pixel fucked. I said here's the single print. We have to get. We have to blast through the golden pocket. The only way this was gonna be bullish is if the value area low was claimed. Okay, so either we said you can either short this, short the single print because it's going to make a lower low. Look at that. It made a lower low. Okay, and I said that I would put my stop loss at basically tiny profit break even. There you go. Look at, look at yesterday's Bugatti. Not that hard. Yeah. Isn't that crazy that I longed at 518 and I still made profit? Some people had better entries than I did and they lost money. Bugatti. So we identified the single print. We were watching the reaction. We were waiting to see if we can get above golden pocket. Look, look, I mean, this is just math, y'all. Clearly, if we're gonna bounce from here, we have to break this, right? All right, what do you mean did I get stopped? We, we talked about it for like hours. All right, so all everything is planned and talked about. Just think about it for a second. Do you really think that your brothers and sisters weren't pestering me about the stop loss and take profit all the way up until the end of the stream? Give your brothers and sisters some credit. You don't think anybody else asked where the stop loss and TP was for the last couple hours while we were watching football? Come on, guys. Fina says, people get so anxious if they don't do the same as you instead of learning so they can do for themselves. Yeah, that's one of the biggest mistakes that you um, have to get, you know, past when you're starting out. But it's, it's basically because you don't have enough confidence internally, you know, and that is why I harp so much on make sure you get caught up. Listen to how I'm explaining things. So there's people that have been here for a month and they know exactly what my invalidations are because they watch from start to finish. There's people that have been here for four months and they kind of, you know, pop in and out. They don't really watch all of the highlights and they're behind the guy that came in a month ago. Ooh, wait. Dizho says, I'm looking for 24990 now. Uh, it's, 
a little bit premature uh, to be like extra bearish. Um, all it did was it swept a single print long. So, yeah, I, I mean, some of y'all are crazy. Let's just take it. <laughs> Look, we said that the last place where you could potentially bounce from is this zone right here, this single print. Okay. Has it lost it and turned it into resistance? Not yet. And all it did was it just stopped out the initial single print longers. So the only way that I would actually start to get bearish is if it starts to do that or if it does this again. I, why, why, why would you get hella bearish if we said that this level or this level, this is the most bullish level where it could bounce from, and this is the second bullish level where it could bounce from. But if you lose this, then it's poo-poo time. Yeah, so I mean, the, if you're in a trade and, you, and it, you got in it in the last 24 hours, it would be this short. That would be the only thing. Maybe you wanted to long this. If you were in, a, in this long, you're trying not to get stopped out. RIP if you got stopped out right here because I entered. <laughs> but nothing has really changed. Just, just like how yesterday we identified the single print and we said, let's watch the reaction. Let's watch the reaction at 075. Okay, like is that right? Not, not that difficult. So everybody, when everybody that got this long here, if you got stopped out, I might have missed it yesterday. I didn't miss it this time. And, and I made sure to close my uh, trade up here with a shitty entry in profit, tiny profit. Y'all need to see it. In fact, let's just do this. Let's just do this. Oh, Bugatti. What did Don Diddley? What did Don Diddley? I mean, it's just math, y'all. Come on, Bugatti. Stop looking at the price action and being like, oh, this looks bad. Oh, this looks good. I, no one gives a shit what it looks like. We're not trying to figure out which girl we want to take home. We doing math. We identified the levels. All it did was it just swept. Okay? You can still... Absolutely. But wait for it to get lost. Don't just... I mean, it just, all it did was it swept. So what I would do, you got 25 minutes on this hourly candle. If this hourly candle can't get above 7.5, that's a pretty bad sign. It already got rejected once. Hey! Bugatti! Oh my god. Hey, W, I got a, I got a Katz's Delicatessen sandwich. You know what I'm talking about? Hey! Hey, what? Boy, they just keep... They love this sweep of a sweep shit. Um, I wish I was here to watch this shit. Um, it's, it's, holy shit. It just pixeled off of the point of control. Oh my God. But it's sweep of us. I honestly, even if I was here, I don't think I would have had a chance to get back in. I got, I got stopped out like right here. So not that big of a deal. I wish I could have taken it again. Um, <laughs> Let me, uh, let me put the rest of this shit that he got me and uh, put it in the fridge, but fuck. Oh, how, ooh, okay, interesting. Hey, we got Macaulay in 26 minutes, Bugatti. Can we get a sweep of a sweep, por favor? Actually, it wouldn't make sense. There's nothing other than that um, point of control, y'all. Uh, this might even front, ooh, do we have a shot? Ooh, maybe sweep of a sweep, Bugatti. Because wouldn't that make sense? Look, look, V, VWAP, sweep of that, 75786 and single print. What's that single print? 26990, right? Hold on, I want to see it on here. We're going to make it green. 
two six. I'm gonna just say nine ninety, okay? Oh my god. Okay, but here's here so okay, so you actually have two trades. If you really believe that the sweeping is done, you would not lose golden pocket. So you could do something bizarre like this, right? And your risk reward, right? But, um, but, but, but this looks really nice. LA Beast has got stopped out of small profit, but the sweep was during practice, so did not take it. Yeah, I wasn't here either, but it's all good. It's all good. And even if it was a sweep and this just starts making higher highs, we're going to look for like a single print that's left behind, a Fibonacci retracement. You know what it is. It's not like this is the first time we've missed out on a sweep, you know what I mean? So we know what the protocol is, we know what to do, not that big of a deal. But the, the main thing, like I always say, is the execution really doesn't matter. If you're in a trade or not, it doesn't really matter. Can you interpret the data that's in front of you? So, yeah. I mean, I would love to be able to ride this bitch, but if it goes without me, then all I have to do is just try to not get stopped out. But it's not like I have to redo my entire TA interpretation, you know? Hey, goofy ass shit though, right, Karen? Boy, I've been try I'm trying not to get stopped out, but these motherfuckers still get me somehow, some way. <laughs> but, but aside from that, um, y'all getting it, right? Not nothing's really changed. We're, we that level hasn't been lost. It just swept again. We, you're not getting significant candle body closes below that zone. Aquaman's trident. I would love that. Who said that? Left lane Larry, you love saying that shit. I feel like you always talk about Aquaman's trident. Uh, you're either gonna get Aquaman's trident or Amber Heard's turd. There's a value area low that it would have to reclaim as support in order to do a full rotation. So if this just green dildos and, we, and we're not in a long, we can be patient and we can understand the next upcoming levels and anticipate, you know, some sort of uh, pullback or breakthrough. Okay, like the most bullish scenario where you would be like, fuck, and would really trigger you to like top long or something is if it goes, it just smashes beyond the value area low. Okay, you want to be patient because it's probably going to hit point of control, come back to turn value area low into support. Right? So don't end up like FOMO top longing as it approaches point of control. Yup, yeah, it's like 279 basically. So, you know, whether like it's 27880, 279, some people might even say 28,000. Okay, it's like you don't want to really nitpick too much, but yeah, you got to flip that bitch into support. Then you really have a shot to do 29.4. I think all you would really need to do is just make a higher high and make sure that it's not a sweep. So, but uh, you, you know, you definitely want to, you know, like we said, we, we even said it earlier, right? 27.9 could be a short. So you want to watch it as it approaches that level. But, you know, just in case it does smash it, you don't want to start top longing there, you know, as it approaches point of control. Let it hit point of control, watch the reaction. Most likely it's going to come back and turn value area low into support. <clears throat> Lee Kwok says golden pocket entry for science. You're talking about this one? Um, okay, so, so I would probably say no. Um... But basically, Lee Kwok, the only reason why you would take this is because you, because you believe in this and you know that if it, you have significant uh, higher time frame candle closes below, you know what, I'll take it because it's only an $80 play per coin. I'll take it. <laughs> but I just feel like this looks way better. You have a single print, okay? If there's anything that this move showed me yesterday was that they're going after the single prints. There's, you know, so you've got one more down here, okay? And that would be the, the better sweep, okay? Like, who, who really cares about the longers from here, the longers from here? Let's get the fucker, fuckers from there. I think that would just make a little bit more sense. Even the structure, right? Like just kind of, you couldn't even get above. You can't, 
You know, that's what you would have wanted to at least get rejected there. That would have been more meaningful. You can't even get above a math level. That's weak. So I think it's up to you, brother. You know, could you still have... I don't... The, 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 this kind of shit is just kind of a little bit dif more difficult. So, but you, you also remember, though, that this is kind of like my last line right here. So if you don't do quick, then it's a no-go. And you better have confluence with S&P. Um, if like you're looking at the gammas tomorrow and they show a huge gamma at like 4,200 or something, I don't know if you really want to be in a long, right? Did you see what happened today? Uh, somebody was like, do you think there's a high probability? I was like, of hitting 4,215? I was like, yes. Right? So, um, I think the best thing to do would be to look, if you're going to take a stab here, then... Um, I think if you're going to take a, st it's, it, if you're going to take a stab here, then you're somebody that would have taken this and you believe in this to be the sweep and that's why you're taking it. Otherwise, it's probably a lot better to be, have an entry already here and like try, you know, get stopped out right here in tiny P. Um, but, um, yeah, so, I mean, if you can afford to, to take a 80, 80, 90, hundred dollar loss, then I think it's all right. But man, this would be a little bit better in my opinion. I think you just got to be patient, right? You, everybody see this, right? Man, that looks a little bit better. And look, look, like usually by Nancio Magneto is spoofs and it falls through, right? So I don't know. I think if you are that hyper aggressive and you just it's gonna kill me if i don't get it type of shit you know maybe do like a smaller position but this is like do not piss away um the ability to go big here in my opinion if you take a l here and you have a smaller position because of that l here i think that's a little bit stupid i think that's the opposite but if you if if you taking an L on here doesn't impact your position sizing on this attempt, then fuck it, why not? Or if you're playing with profits. But I don't know how many times you're gonna have to see the price go to single print for you to believe it and have the patience to get it at least down there. So I just saw, you know, um, yeah. So I mean, I think that my lesson from yesterday is to wait for the single print because I wanted the twenty seven six. Because here, here's the thing about yesterday. If you were following along, uh, let me see your hands up. But if you were following along, right, I disregarded the single print. I got in at the golden pocket, right? Ended up regretting that. It pixel fucked the golden pocket. I mean, excuse me, the, the single print, right? And what ended up saving me? The single print up top at 614. So it kind of feels like I'd be spitting in the single print's face if I were to just ignore it again. But does that make sense? And it's really just about understanding and being objective and seeing what's right in front of you. So really think about that for a second. I enter 27.6, 27.5 because of the golden pocket. I met, like, like I said out loud that I'm going to disregard the single print. I, I was like, how many of you guys are going to be waiting for the single print? It pixel fought the, the single print. And not only that, but the thing that saved me and got me out was also the single print to the top side. So it would kind of seem silly for me to disregard it now objectively speaking i don't care if you already in a position or you're so hyper aggressive that you want this golden pocket to work but just think about what what we saw yesterday so it really doesn't matter if you follow along took the same position whatever but what i just said it pixel fucked the single print on the bottom and it saved me at for the single print up top and it pixel the single print up top so Hollow Squad says you told yourself that you learned something. I, I I know I know I know. So you you know what I'm talking about, right? Hollow, you see, you see all this? That's the single print down there. That's the fib. That's the sweep. That's the big liquidity sweep right there. Who gives a shit about longers from here or here or here? Let's get those guys. But but here's the thing, brother. Um, it's all about probabilities. And guess what? I've seen structures where it was a poor. You know, you know that there's also a poor high up there, right? And we left it as is. So um, it's all like just confluence.
Okay, it's still, it's, it, it can leave it for later. But yes, if you ask me, that's a poor low and it's probably going to get swept later. That would be like my hesitancy on trying to long the Kimba box. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'll see you guys bright and early tomorrow. Wait, 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 wait. He always gets into positions, including my screen too early. Everybody good? Joker, fire. Axada, you know there's still, if I show up with like a Gucci long from that single print, you know there's still going to be people that are going to be like, why did you take this? All right, y'all, have a great night, everybody. Yeah, young Gucci, I'm taking, I mean, I gotta, I'm gonna just put on some uh, headphones and I gotta crank out these emails and I need to work with Suave and, and Nerd on a couple of things, so. Yep, yep, but you guys are good. Watch out for the highlights, watch out for the levels. I'll see you guys bright and early tomorrow. Probably tomorrow the gammas are gonna have more impact. So even if I'm not uh, here, take a look at the, uh, the, the, uh, the S&P uh, gamma video. Okay, all right, Sato, take it away.